three. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here with some incredibly important breaking news. I covered it today on the radio. I'll cover it more tomorrow. The Obama administration, through their operatives, has had the New York Times come out and try to claim with no facts or proof that the guy that uh, reportedly, allegedly shot up the White House with an AK-47 did it because he was a fan of my film, The Obama Deception. Now, they did this with Richard Poplosky that shot the three cops. It later came out that he was a white supremacist who hated me, and the government knew that. And instead of pointing that out, just claimed he did it because he liked me when I'm calling for nonviolence. Uh, they did it with the Tucson shooter. It turned out he was a leftist. That was all lies. And we've had the Obama deception hacked and taken down. We've had fake copyright claims put on it. It's been seen more than 35 million times total all the different versions are up there some have over 10 million some 9.5 million uh, it's incredible and an attack on our first amendment is an attack on your first amendment now someone is all over the thing with these hack dummy accounts calling for violence against obama on my youtube so that when media all over the country goes to look at that video because the new york times is talking about it and national tv is blaming it on me basically they will see all those calls for violence it's a way to get conservatives and liberals at each other's throats instead of waking up the banksters. And that's why they're so scared of the Obama deception. The Obama deception says that Obama is a charming, nice guy, but a puppet of the banksters, and that he'll be politically built up and destroyed. And I said it three years ago. I talked about Europe being imploded by a banking crisis that would lead to a bank of the world and a Goldman Sachs banking dictatorship. Now that's in Time Magazine, Newsweek, Financial Times of London, you know, the banker coup in Europe. The film is so dead on, it's like it was made today, but it was made from the time he got elected in November until January and then February, and I released it when the FBI visited my offices and was asking questions about it. They used some other reason to come to my office, gave us a gag order, but then asked us about it, and we would call my employees and ask about the film, so we had to release it early. The Obama deception scares the daylights out of them, and it should. It tells the truth and it exposes the next right-wing puppet that's coming. It gets past the puppets to the actual ruling elite. If we don't stand together for my First Amendment, you will lose your First Amendment. The Occupy Wall Street group has banned my name being posted on their website, calling it fascism. Oh, they're for free speech as long as it's not fascism. This is incredible. We are seeing more and more draconian pushes to restrict free speech in this country, and it's so dangerous to all of us. Please, please get the links out to everybody. Please mirror it on your site. Please get the DVDs, make copies of them, air them on Access Television. But even if you disagreed with the information in the Obama deception, you should certainly get it out to everyone you know and support it because it's under attack. It's, it's a First Amendment free speech issue. But I know if you'll actually watch the film, Instead of listing the New York Times, you'll see that it's for nonviolence, that it's against offensive violence, that it explains that the Federal Reserve's the problem, not the puppet presidents. It exposes the CFR, Trilateral Commission, the banking cartel. It predicted the invasion of Libya, everything, three years ago. Get it out to everybody you know while you still can. The fact that the Obama administration continues to demonize us, it came out a year ago, I'm on their enemies list, shows this is happening because the bankers that control him are very, very upset about what we're doing, exposing uh, MF Global and the rest of it. So much is happening right now, and, and, and we've got to defend free speech from the internet kill switches and the rest of it. It's all coming down right now. If we lose Infowars.com, if we lose films like The Obama Deception, nobody's safe. Why does the system not want you to see The Obama Deception? Why are they spamming it with calls for violence right now to shut down one of the big YouTube versions with nine and a half plus million views? because the truth hurts, and this film exposes Obama not as the big wicked devil that this guy supposedly thought he was, the Antichrist, but as a little puppet, a nobody that he is, just like other modern presidents. Please get this information out to everybody. Stand for the First Amendment today. Don't let them kill free speech by killing the Obama deception. We don't want anything to happen to Barack Obama. He is nothing but a puppet. We want the criminal interest behind him to be brought to justice. They use him like a shield that takes all the heat. And after four years, they throw him down and pick up a new Republican shield. When they're done with that, they pick up another one. That's what's really happening here. I'm Alex Jones from the front lines of the InfoWars. InfoWars.com.